Hello everyone, welcome back to the Tarot Tanvi. I am Tanvi, these are my tarot cards and this is the 2022 prediction for Cancer. So not everyone, hello Cancerians. So uh, I have already pulled cards for you. And before I get into your tarot and your 2022 predictions, uh, in case you would like to book personal readings with me or uh, you would like to contact me, all the details to my personal Instagram, my YouTube and my website are in the description of this episode. Too. So please feel free to reach out to me. Okay, so I have pulled three cards which are going to signify three different areas of the next year for Cancerians. The first, the first is the area of love and romance. Second is the area of career and finances. And third is the area of spiritual, emotional and physical health. So let's see. The first card uh, is your um, love and romance. Okay. <laughs> so this is the sun card. And the sun card is a major arcana, which is actually the happiest card uh, in... Tarot, this is actually one of the happiest cards. The sun, like the sunshine is all about sunshine. So maybe you, like in your relationship, this is how you're going to feel the entire year. If you do not have anyone significant in your life uh, right now, if you're completely single, then I would say that uh, you're going to meet a person who's going to be your sunshine. And if uh, you are already in a committed relationship, if you're, if you're married or whatever, then this is how you're going to still feel the next year, okay? then your partner is also going to be the sunshine of your life. And I'm also getting a message that, you know, your partner is, is very dependable and is going to be your rock. Okay, your rock. Even if that, even if you hit rock bottom, this person will help you create yourself again. Okay, uh, is the message that I'm getting for your next year. Okay, in terms of your love and romances, which is very beautiful. So now in the area of career and finances, we have the seven of wands. The seven of wands talks about um, fights, okay, not like literal fights, but then uh, fighting your battles on your own, trying to prove and fight against the odds. Uh, you see that there's just one wand that's lit and all the other ones are just on the sides. I would say maybe next year you would try something that's very uh, out of the ordinary and um, different from what you have been doing till now. Um, so if that is the case, okay, this could be like uh, even in a job that you really like and you would like to change your approach or maybe get a new post or a new posting. Um, whatever is this new desire, new passion that you're going to follow next year, you might feel initially that you have to uh, fight a lot of battles, okay, to reach and follow your passion. This could be in terms of, um, you know, your um, getting approval from uh, your loved ones, your dear ones, your family members. And it could be like a little, um, because what you want to do next year is could be something that is not, uh, something that is in the norms, which I really like it when people do that, okay? <laughs> I love it when people do something that's completely different and uh, not out of the ordinary and, and not something that's very ordinary. So out of the ordinary and extraordinary is the word that I'm getting. So of course, when you pave a path that nobody has ever walked before, it could seem a little challenging in the beginning, but you see that there's only one wand that's lit up at the end so I would say like don't worry whatever uh, battles you're gonna fight firstly you'll have a partner to uh, who's gonna support you if you uh, like so don't, don't worry about that so you'll have a lot of emotional support and love around you even in terms of uh, your family I would say like if your family does not understand initially eventually they definitely will and um, you will be actually very very successful in following your gut and your passion now, the third card uh, is the Ace of Wands in the area of your emotional, physical, spiritual health. Now, Ace of Wands is um, a fiery climax, okay, a fiery new beginning, okay. But I don't know why did I say fiery climax. Probably that's what's going to happen in terms of your spiritual health. So, if you are already uh, a spiritual person, you can experience an actual spiritual awakening next year. 
uh, if you do not resonate with that message, uh, then I would say then uh, that um, you're going to feel very energized the entire year to follow your passion in terms of your career and you'll be very loved and supported by the sunshine that you have in your life. I don't know who that is. Okay. So that could also be your family members uh, because love and romance like this love can be of love from your family and friends. So um, the Ace of Wands uh, talks about a new beginning. Okay. Having a new health schedule would definitely help you out having a new workout schedule uh, where you are able to uh, burn a lot of calories. Okay. Um, and you would definitely feel very energized to do that. And um, yeah, so you'll have a lot of energy, which is really good because you would not uh, feel low on energy when it comes to your physical health, which is really nice. Um, and yeah, so uh, I have already pulled uh, three more cards. I have also pulled three more cards, which are going to tell us the important months for your next year. So the first card that we have is January. That could be significant. Second card is April. And the third card is December. So the months of January, April and December could be very significant and important for you. Yeah, so I hope that this was helpful in some way and I will see you again next time. Bye bye.